Stepping away from the conference for a moment, last night was the opening reception for the RIPE conference and it was held at the Gutenberg Museum here in the heart of Mainz. This of course being the city of Johann Gutenberg, this museum has priceless holdings that demonstrate the entire history of printing. The museum director served as our guide and showed us everything that was on display, including reproductions of uh, the oldest printing presses, uh, Kore documents printed in Korea in the 8th century. Uh, she demonstrated how type was cast. She demonstrated how the Gutenberg Bible was printed. And the highlight of the night was going into a, a large, secure, safe area that was very dark where we got to see the actual two actual Gutenberg Bibles uh, and that are, of course, priceless documents. The paper came along the Silk Road to Europe, and uh, we can say that, for instance, in Germany, paper making probably started, as far as we can say, in 1390. When we consider that Johannes Gutenberg, who was here from Mainz, was born in the year 1400 or around, then I think it is quite plausible uh, that uh, there is some sort of connection that printing had been done with woodcuts already, but his method of printing with movable type in the printing press just started a few decades after having paper available here in the center of Europe. So this had to be made in a different way that the platen does not turn with a screw but goes only up and down, as you can see by this idea as it is uh, realized here. Now, when you had the form, of course, for a book you needed two, but we have simplified it here. In the press, you have your um, uh, type balls and ink them. With it, you have always two people um, at the printing press cooperating. And then uh, the last step when the inking had been done is, of course, the printing. And for this, I need a strong man again. <laughs> I would like to ask who, if someone would volunteer. A professor <laughs> staying already in position. So, oh no, we need the paper, of course. Most important. The frame goes down on the printing form. And now we have to, you're on the wrong side. You have to go to my side, please, like this. And the printer always has to be on this side. <laughs> that is the traditional way to do it. And then, you, yes, and oh, where are you? <laughs> where are you now? <laughs> and now, with all your strength, it will not be damaged. Yes. Quite so. Very well. Thank you. Okay. That's why I need a man, you see? <laughs> If you like to make photographs, you can do it here, no problem. And we get it out again. And now, if you listen, maybe we hear something. It's very soft sound, but yes. Yes, it's a nice print. Well done. So what we have here is the reproduction of one page. Here we are, of the Gutenberg Bible from the St. John's Gospel. And this is good for first try, I should say. You can keep it if you like. Thank you very oh, much for your help. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, within a short time, he must have uh, experienced it and uh, made a great uh, improvement of it so that we can exactly say in 1452, the Gutenberg Bible was started. There must have been many uh, all other published uh, works, like for instance, grammars, Latin grammars called Donatus, uh, like this fragment which we have here, calendars and other things. But the big work that was a Bible was started in uh, 1452. And uh, you will see the originals in a very short while. What we can see here is just um, a fragment of a double spread. When they had uh, blanks here and later on the scribe got a printed sheet with all the lines which were missing, and they, he had to handwrite them into. And when the, did you get pages? One can say, in many ways, these very early printed books look very much like the manuscripts. Yeah. On the other hand, we have someone, um, Mr. Fabiani in Italy, who said uh, and writes, uh, "Oh, um, Gutenberg wanted to 
uh, make a fake and uh, the people should think this was handwritten. When you compare it, I think this is ridiculous. One can see it's a difference. I mean, this is much more regular. Mm. It is another way to do it. But uh, the system was still the same in many ways. 